5.53 right now. Fall is almost here, and that means it's time to get prepared for flu season. And the best way to protect yourself is with, of course, a flu shot. Here with us this morning is Troy McNeil, the Director of Clinical Services with Ingalls Pharmacy, and Michelle Akers, the Pharmacy Manager, also one of our morning producers. Justin is here. Justin Prohaska, he's going to be getting his shot. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, sure. Troy, let's talk about this. The flu is already here in some locations, right? It is. There's already been some reported cases throughout the community. All right, and Michelle, tell us about the shots you guys are offering. Um, we have the trivalent um, flu shot that's available through all Ingalls pharmacies and um, it's uh, the standard shot that we see you know with most and certainly hoping it's a better match this year than last year yes we're hoping so <laughs> all right how is the flu spread well it's it's a respiratory uh illness it's can typically people will sneeze or cough someone who's infected sometimes uh if someone touches a uh, a cabinet or something where there are droplets and they can catch that they rub their eyes nose and uh, they can catch it that way now aside from getting the shot what else can we do to prepare for the season oh there's a number of things you can do certainly using hand sanitizer washing hands uh, quite a bit is the number one thing next to a flu shot that someone can do uh, being aware if you are contagious or, or if you've catch the flu stay away from people for uh, seven days or so you will you'll remain contagious after you've uh, caught the flu all right michelle let's get started here now justin is young healthy just relaxed until he started now. working here <laughs> so uh who should get this shot and who should not well, the, the CDC recommends that anyone six months of age or older get the shot, uh, particularly those who are immunocompromised, those people maybe who have had uh, cancer, or leukemia, HIV positive, uh, the elderly, pregnant women, uh, all of those people are at a higher risk for catching the flu. Okay. But CDC does recommend anybody six months, uh, six months or older. Okay. All right. Justin, how was it? He didn't feel a thing. He didn't feel a thing. <laughs> See, I told you. There you go. <laughs> Michelle, you did a good job with it. Thanks. He didn't feel a thing. I'll go back to the booth and produce the show, right? <laughs> Thank you all for being here. We'll be back in the next hour. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Well, believe it or not, it is already mid-September. And the start of fall means flu season is right around the corner. Joining us to tell us how to protect yourself from the flu are Troy McNeil and Michelle Akers from Ingalls. Thank you both for being here. Sure. Right. Appreciate it very much. It is already flu season. It, it, it is. Flu is, there's already been reported cases uh, in, in several cities and uh, it is here. What is flu by definition? Flu is a respiratory infection that is uh, passed through uh, droplets when someone coughs or sneezes or uh, if you touch some place where, uh, where, where a cough or droplets have been there, someone has the flu, rub your eyes, nose, you can catch it that way. Okay. And it's very dangerous. It is. There's a, a number of deaths attributed every year. Some years are worse than others, but the number one way to protect yourself against the flu is to get a flu shot. All right, so I'm beginning to pick this half hour. How easy is it for folks now to come in and get the shot? It's, you can just walk right in. You can. You can go into uh, any pharmacy. Uh, Ingalls Pharmacy certainly has those. That you can walk in, and it's just a matter of moments to fill out a, a consent form and then get the shot. Michelle, do you have to give it to her in the arm? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> just relax her arm now. There you go. Jay. <laughs> there was an underlying nice. joke there. I know. Does it sting? No, you can't actually even tell. Very and, easy. And Michelle, how long before it takes effect? It takes about two weeks. And that's why it's so important to get it now, because it is. there is that time period where it's not going to be effective yet, right? It, it, exactly. It, it does take, it takes uh, 10 to 14 days for it to become effective, and the flu shot cannot cause the flu as well. So it's, uh, it's an important thing to note. And that really is an urban legend that has spread and spread. And a lot of people say they won't get the shot for that very reason, but what they get is not really the flu, right? That is correct. That is correct. Or maybe they've gotten the shot, and then since it takes 10 to 14 days right. to work, end up getting the flu during that time. All right, that's an interesting point. And who can get it, who cannot? Anyone six months of years, uh, age and older, is, is the CDC recommends getting the shot. You can walk in any pharmacy for 14 years old and older and, uh, and get the shot. Well, at 14, yes. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks for being with us. And last question real quick. We always talk about the strain. Is it going to be effective? Mm -hmm. How's it looking this year? So far, the predictability is it is, it is a good match this okay. year. Uh, We'll see how it goes. All right. Thank you both for coming yeah. in. We appreciate it. Thanks for my flu shot. I feel good. I'm protected, Jay. You are. I'll be here with you all winter long. <laughs> Let's hope I will be. <laughs> it's 44 now on your Monday.